Hi guys, welcome to the Kes Project and today I'm going to teach you how to make my famous chocolate orange cookies. First things first, wash your hands. Um, let me just give you a quick run through of the ingredients that you will need. You'll need 125 grams of butter, 200 grams of caster sugar, one large fresh free range egg, 225 grams of plain flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, three tablespoons of cocoa powder, the one I'm using is the Bourneville yummy yummy one, and a Terry's chocolate orange, which is my absolute favorite. So let's get cracking. Right, the first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 190, but my oven is a bit odd and it is 12 degrees too hot. So I'm just gonna set mine to 180. But if you have a normal oven, unlike mine, 190. As you can see, I've prepared two baking trays with greaseproof paper ready to put our yummy cookie mix on. And I pre-sieved all my materials just to make it easier for you guys because obviously YouTube doesn't allow me to upload anything more than 10 minutes at the moment, so I have to be quick with this. Right, the first thing you want to do is cream the butter and the sugar into the bowl. And as I said, I've already pre-sieved my um, ingredients, but I do like to sieve again. It just makes everything extra nice. Just make sure you've got every little lump out. Just gonna quickly, and hopefully your butter is a bit softer than mine. I have had it sitting out for a while to try and soften it up, but if you keep working it, it does eventually mixing. Right, as you can see it's now a nice fluffy colour. It's all mixed in nicely, so yeah make sure your butter is a bit softer than mine was. So mine has been sitting out for about half an hour but it's freezing in my kitchen. Right, next thing you need to add is your egg. I always like to crack my egg in a separate bowl just in case you get one bad egg in a batch because you can't always guarantee and obviously if you do it straight into the bowl then you've ruined all the ingredients you've already put in. Let's give that a good mix. And then again, I'm not going to bore you with all the mixing. Right, I'm nearly there. And I like to mix my things by hand because then it makes you feel a little bit less guilty about eating things afterwards. And you feel like you've had a workout actually preparing the food. Right, so now, bit by bit, you want to sieve your plain flour over the mixture already in your bowl. And this is where I make a huge mess and end up doing insane amounts of tidying afterwards. Because what we're making here is a cookie dough, so it will become quite stiff. You just have to keep working it around. Again, add a bit more. Going. I will put all the details of this recipe in the description for you. And also, we're trying to launch our website soon, hopefully. And we'll put all of our recipes and our projects and all the documentation from our projects, it's getting really stiff now, um, up online so you guys can join in. And this is where I'm going to get really messy. But, okay, so I'm just going to sip the rest of the flour in and I will see you guys in a minute. Right, I've added that all in now. As you can see, it's quite nice and doughy. We want our teaspoon, and I just have to show you guys these. How cool are these? It's what a wedding presents from our lovely friends. And so yeah, I want my teaspoon one. Just sprinkle. And now we're ready for our final ingredient, which is the chocolate powder or cocoa powder, shall I say? Just sift that all over. Actually, I say our final ingredient. We're actually missing currently the crucial ingredient which I shall get to in a minute which is our lovely chocolate orange we need to crumble in to make the chunks 
going to just keep mixing it in. You might actually find it better to start using your hands in a minute, which is what I will start to do. So I find that things mix a lot better with your hands, and he doesn't like to get a little bit messy when you're cooking. And obviously, as I said, I have washed my hands, so this is all totally fine. I'll just keep working the chocolate powder in. Keep folding the dough over. Again, I'm not going to bore you that too much. Now, it's time for the uber, uber fun bit. And we're going to do some more mixing, so don't worry too much. But at the moment, it doesn't look should right so as I said the fun bit there we go whack it and unwrap it and chocolate orange my absolute favourite thing I know I, my hands look disgusting at the moment but it's all in a good cause you literally just snap segments of chocolate orange and you can use any other um chocolate orange that you can get in supermarkets because you can get some higher grade stuff but to be honest Terry's chocolate orange is my absolute favourite and it just works so well with this recipe but I'm warning you this takes quite a while because Terry's chocolate orange has quite a few segments so I shall just finish this one and then I shall join you once we're all mixed in and ready to serve right as you can see I'm almost done with my snapping I'm really sorry about the rumbling noise, my boiler's just come on because of the hot water. Because as you can see, it's good idea to keep washing your hands whilst you're doing this, because it can get horrendously messy. As I said, we're going to do some more mixing now, and this is really much easier to do with your hands than it is just to do with trying to do it with a spoon or a mixer. Just keep going and pushing all the chunks right into the dough. You can see that the dough is also becoming consistently chocolatey all the way through. As you can see now, we've got a nice big lump of cookie dough. And you just want to pull off little balls. You're doing about this size, so it just fits in the palm of your hand. Just give them a little roll and pop them on your baking tray. Make sure you leave enough room between them so that they have room to spread out in the oven because they will obviously expand. So I like to leave about that much room between mine. Right. Now you can see they're all nicely laid out on two baking trays and we're going to pop them in the oven for 20 minutes but keep an eye because obviously your oven might be different from mine but mine usually take about 20 minutes on 190 or technically 180 but again all the details of all the temperature and all the ingredients will be in the description of our video and on our Facebook page As you can see I've popped mine one on top of the other which is totally fine because I will swap them halfway through, so in 10 minutes. Now it's time to deal with the mess whilst your cookies bake, and you'll be rewarded with your lovely, lovely baking in 20 minutes. And here they are, all finished. So just leave them to cool because they're going to be very, very hot right now, so you don't want to be touching the trays without oven mitts. So in about 10 15 minutes, they should be cooler. Uh, you can transfer them onto a wire rack if you want to call them further or straight into a box. Thank you for cooking with us and we'll be teaching you more things soon. Bye guys!